for seeing it. Yeah. And they said, you're so concerned with showing up perfect that you don't bother to show up whole. <sighs> I was like, oh, shit. Well, I figure out what kind of therapy works for me. Like even having somebody to talk that through um, is really important. Yeah. So like, I don't know. Yeah, like I love what you guys are doing because like it takes that steep on ramp and just like makes it not that there's not a walk up but accessible yeah right like accessible instead of like all right well yeah i can walk up a ramp i can't climb a mountain right now i got yeah. too much going on yeah you know i think it's important to put people's stories out there because technically if anybody pays attention to the platform it prepares them for hey when you're ready this is what you're gonna go through and this is what everyone who's done it goes through across the yeah. board it's yeah. like there's not enough of that there's a lot of um i don't like the people who tell pe people to get therapy just get therapy it's like that love simon bullshit that like yeah. just come out of the closet and every everything will be fine and everybody will love you and accept mm -hmm. you for who you are and no. this is a disney movie no shut the fuck up yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. no it's not that simple it's not and it often sucks yeah yeah. Right. Yeah. No, the yeah. only way to build muscle is to rip muscle, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like that's the only way to do it. And when we have a better way, mm -hmm. we'll let you all know. Yeah. Right now, this is what we got. And even with that thought process, unfortunately, there's so many people who are telling people you need therapy, even if it's in a joke, even if it's on social media, even if it's like insults. in like a pejorative way, like see therapy, is, whenever you see that you comment on Instagram, and moment, shit. like this yeah. is why you need therapy. And it's yeah. like, all right, if that person gets therapy, are you going to be willing to change with them? Yeah. Yeah. We all know the answer to that. Yeah. You wanted them to get therapy and you wanted them to get better. But what happens when they realize you're a part of the core yeah. problem? Yeah. And them getting better means they get better without you. Yeah. And at a certain point, they may need to remove you from their lives because mm -hmm. you are the source. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to celebrate that? <laughs> no, probably. I mean, I feel like I've heard stories of people even being like, we shouldn't be doing that. Like, I don't know. Often I hear, mm -hmm. I've heard like more stories of like, like, women in really toxic relationships with really yeah. toxic men who like when they start going to therapy and then they're like oh i can't be with this guy anymore and yeah. the guy's like what are you talking about like just crazy quack like don't listen to him like that's no, crazy no. you're fine like don't go like in life you get what you pay for yeah yeah and that's what it is yeah so that's part of it too like mm -hmm. i don't know like if nothing is changing in your life from therapy mm -hmm. There's probably two things going on. Yeah. Probably, like, you just don't have a good, effective relationship with your therapist. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. this has been something that's hard for me to realize about myself, which is, like, like, I don't know, something like, oh, I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes also, like, I'm not actually mm -hmm. doing the work. And that doesn't mean it has to be perfect, but it does mean you have to progress. I don't know if you remember when I said this on uh, Thursday when we did uh, the Total Truth Thursday. Yeah, a couple weeks back. Uh, I just want effort. Yeah. That's that's all I ask for. That's that's it. I don't... <clears throat> I've never wanted perfect. I think there was a time in my life where I thought perfect was what you need in order for things to get the, done. Mm -hmm. And then I started to realize what perfect would do to people in the room. Perfect is what leads to people not being able to get it done because there's too much pressure. Mm -hmm. Perfect is what happens when the thing that's easy all of a sudden becomes difficult. Mm. Perfect is what happens when it's supposed to be simple, but somehow simple becomes complicated and there's five people standing over one pot and there's one spatula. Mm. And so it's like, don't ask for perfect anymore. If anything, just ask for effort. and. Effort is one of the easiest things you can measure because it's, hey, did you do something you and didn't you know. do yesterday? Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell when you're avoiding it. When I was like, when I was like, oh, I'm going to therapy. Oh, I'm good. Like, no, like I, took, I, took, I do think while. at the time. It took a while. Like, I it took a while. Was, that reminds me, one of the, uh, 
an ex that I haven't talked to in, in years. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have like a, I don't know how she feels about me now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But as we were breaking up, I don't know, we're like, we're talking, you know, this is years ago. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, she was also just like telling me some like hard, some like hard truths. And I think, yeah, and I think I could be like, wow, okay, I actually do trust that you see me. Mm -hmm. I actually do trust that you know me. Yeah. And, like, if you're saying this, it's because, like, you're seeing it. Yeah. And they said, you're so concerned with showing up perfect that you don't bother to show up whole. <sighs> I was like, oh, shit. Ow, I'm going to remember that forever. Uh, I'm gonna remember that forever. That's a special delivery. Yeah. Yeah, that's a special delivery. You're so concerned with showing up perfect mm -hmm. that you don't show up whole. Was that said in a calm, even voice? Yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, and it's like they were right. I don't know. Maybe that's another thing about like my journey. Like, I actually probably. I mean, it was a while ago, but like, mm -hmm. definitely, it's just, it's something that I've like thought about, you know, it's not like something I think about every day, but every like once in a while, especially when like, I can tell like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, like I'm not putting in the work and like, I'm like, well, if it's not going to be perfect, then like, whatever, I'll just phone it in. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, you can bring that messiness, yeah. right? But you do have to, you like the effort like what you're saying like that yeah. and you know when that's part of it and you know when it's not mm -hmm. i think one of the things i also really value about my therapist now is without and that doesn't feel like contentious but mm -hmm. like and i was saying this saying this way back but just uh like my therapist like james you're not mad about this thing and i'm like yeah i am well, I'm, I'm mad and having having a therapist who I who I really trust and they're like James you're mad about this this is how it's coming out right and I don't want to get it like super specific on camera but like just having somebody that when they can tell you something that you don't want to know is true and then I don't know there's something about hearing it and you have to, it's a long process of getting to that point where you can trust what somebody says, right? And not just like, oh, well, you don't know me and you don't know what I've been through. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like ah, having somebody that can tell you something that doesn't necessarily feel good. I think that's something a lot of people don't who like haven't done it is like don't realize like that's part of therapy also it's like it's not all supposed to feel good mm -hmm. <laughs> right like it's not all supposed to feel good solutions suck. some of it's gonna feel bad solutions suck 